I'm Ron Cregan, founder of Endangered Species, and uh, I'm sitting here in uh, Somerset House, which is the, um, the headquarters of the London Biennale 2018. The first thing I really want to talk about is uh, a new government initiative uh, in the UK, um, which might have far-reaching effects, which is about calorie counts on uh, menus in cafes, uh, restaurants, um, fast food delivery, um, and what impact that might have um, on small businesses. Interestingly enough, if you look at this initiative in the context of a small restaurant or cafe, which produces, for instance, you know what we consider to be, you know, home cooked, homemade meals that face spaghetti carbonara or something like that, um, and um, they're constantly changing a menu, and maybe they're cooking seasonally, and the chef is coming up with dishes. Um, how is that restaurant going to be able to? Um, to find the calorific content accurately of each of those dishes. Again, it seems to be one of these kind of policy legislation pieces that comes from government where it's just completely thoughtless. Yes, some of the bigger brands can afford to do this, but actually all of the small people and all the small business that we kind of love and treasure and, and allegedly we're promoting, you know, in terms of promoting back um, the production of uh, healthy food, which is, you know, home cooked or homemade or, you know, small batch produced. This seems to completely undermine this strategy. So again, another piece of confusion from our wise, um, our wise heads in government. Speaking of government, um, it was reassuring to hear um, last night at number 10 that um, the Prime Minister um, says that design is uh, the lifeblood of this country. And fantastic to hear her say that. She also said that as designers we solve problems um, and that we improve productivity and growth. Uh, I think that's a fantastic um, fantastic statement from the um, from Teresa so I'd like to say thank you for that um, and I'm finally I'm going to sign off with something that's just a little bit of bananas quite literally I kind of mean bananas so you might have come across this piece of information recently in the in the in the um, in the realm of public health information we're now told that um, the banana's got more sugar in it than a donut um, and again we are mystified um, it's a bit of min misinformation I think um, it relates to whether you've got a, a sugar which is naturally produced or naturally contained within a product or whether it's added sugar. Um, but to be honest with you, uh, I find it confusing and if I find it confusing, I'll bet mums and dads all around the country find it equally confusing too.